Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. In today's video, we're going to talk about some new Windows 11 25H2 system requirements. And basically, we're just going to mention all the system requirements that you need to be aware of for the next Windows 11 version, which is 25H2. Windows 11 25H2 in the testing phase has reached the build 26200.5733 on the dev channel. And of course, new features are being tested and Microsoft is preparing to launch this update somewhere in September or October this year. In this video, as I've said, we're going to talk about the necessary system requirements and what you need to keep in mind related to the new version. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. So first of all, to get things out of the way, Windows 11 25H2 will share the same platform as 24H2. So the base system requirements will be basically the same. And those include, of course, TPM 2.0, Secure Boot, so you're going to have to make sure that you have those enabled and of course you can check for those if you type MS Info 32 on your system and check for a secure boot and also TPM 2.0 and of course in addition to this you're going to have to have a compatible 64-bit processor of course more info about the list of processors that are supported can be found on the official Microsoft website minimum 4 gigabytes of RAM 64 gigabytes of storage and so on in addition to this when installing this build if you clean install it you may need to connect to a Microsoft account and also have internet connection without those and without doing a simple trick that I've showed you in a previous video you have to connect your Microsoft account into the internet but as I've said if you watch some of my previous videos I showed you how to do this without a Microsoft account hopefully this method will work on Windows 11 25h2 as well it works on 24h2 it should work pretty well on 25h2 as well now what is different related to Windows 11 25h2 as we've talked about before in previous videos Windows 11 25h2 will also focus focus on new AI features and some of the new AI features such as click to do or Windows recall will require a Copilot Plus PC. Basically you're gonna either need an official Microsoft device which is a laptop that has certain processors that support these new features or a Copilot Plus PC from Intel or AMD that of course supports MPU. MPU is basically a new world processing unit and for features like Windows recall or click to do you're gonna need these processors otherwise you won't see the new features and uh, if you ask me you won't lose much because Windows Recall and Click to Do don't do too much but if you want to have those of course you're going to need to have those newer processors that support MPU. Related to installing Windows 11 25H2 on unsupported or incompatible devices we're not really sure yet of all the restrictions but rumors are that restrictions will be a bit stiffer but once Windows 11 25H2 will be released I'm going to make of course an updated video in which we'll talk about the options that we have to install Windows 11 25H2 on an unsupported or incompatible computer. So these are basically all the things that you need to know about the new Windows 11 25H2 system requirements. As a short recap, basically the core system requirements are the same as for 24H2, but if you want to have all the new AI features, you're going to need some new devices, some new processors with NPU and so on. More information you can find in the article below in the video description or on the official Microsoft website. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was your man from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.